guys this is a 2019 question paper for 14 marks please kindly write this question in a book and it will help you while I am solving on the board Okay students, uh, today we will uh, discuss about uh, internal reconstruction. Uh, this is a, a question asked in the year 2019. <coughs> Let us read this question. The summarized balance sheet of Gautam Limited as on 31st March 2018 is as follows. Share capital 30,000 equity shares of tenant, 3 lakhs, 20,009 percent preference shares of 100 fully paid 2 lakhs. Unsecured creditors 80,000, trade creditors 48,000, bank overdraft 16,800, goodwill 20,000, land and building 160,000, plant and machinery 120,000, investments 24,000, stock in trade 54, sundry debtors 118,000, cash 6,800, and profit and loss account 142,000. Uh, note Dividend on preferent shares or in arrears for two years. The scheme of reconstruction approved as follows. Equity shares paid up value to be reduced to 5 each and to meet working capital 10,000 equity shares of rupees 5 each issued to public for subscription and was fully subscribed and received. Land and building should be valued at 220,000. Goodwill to be written off, plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10%. Trade creditors have agreed to forego a liability up to 25% on condition 25% of net liability to be paid immediately. Investments are taken over by bank in full settlement of bank overdraft. Investment are taken over by bank in full settlement of overdraft. Cost of reconstruction amount to rupees 5000. Preferent shareholders have agreed to give up right on dividend arrears converted 9% preferent shares into 11% preferent shares of annuities. You are required to uh, pass necessary journal entries to above effect and draw up a reconstruction balance sheet. Now, when we read this question, we have too many things to understand, and one thing <coughs> for all the students. Please read the adjustments uh, line by line. <coughs> First, don't look at the balance sheet. Just read the balance sheet and read the adjustment, okay, line by line, word by word, because it's very important when we want to pass general entries, it's very important that we need to understand what is given in the adjustment. Now, let me take this is a 2019 question paper for 14 marks. Now, firstly, what I do is I will pass journal entries. Journal entries. Now, let's see how to pass the journal entries. See, what is a how to pass the journal entries? Sir? Read one by one the adjustment and similarly you pass the journal entries. Okay, and there is no uh, need of uh, you know understanding. Uh, what is there in the balance sheet? First, read the adjustment number one and see what journal entry you can pass. Equity shares paid up value to be reduced to 5 each. See here, equity shares paid up value is 10 rupees. Now, what they are saying is you reduce the equity share paid up value from 10 rupees to 5 rupees. That means to say equity shareholders are contributing towards the internal reconstruction purpose for the supporting for supporting the financially to the company 
equity shares are reducing from 10 rupees to 5 rupees. Now, what entry we can pass for this is the first journal entry is old equity share capital account debit. Old equity share capital is 3 lakh rupees to new equity share capital. See, we have new equity share capital. 30,000 equity shares are there. From 10 rupees to, they are reducing to 5 rupees and it becomes 1,50,000. And the remaining amount, they are contributing towards capital reconstruction account or capital reduction account, 1,50,000. What is the narration you can pass for this is being equity share capital contributed towards internal reconstruction. Being equity shareholders contributed towards reconstruction purpose. At the same time, what happened here to meet working capital purpose? See, for the working capital, they need a, a capital for running day to day business. Uh, they, they, they did not have a, enough cash to procure the working capital. The, for that purpose, they are issuing 10,000 equity shares of 10 inch completely to the public. And the public is purchased all the 10,000 shares and we have received 10,000 into 5 rupees cash. So, thereby, we can pass an entry, cash account debit 10,000 into 5 rupees, 50,000 rupees to equity share capital account 15,000 so we are receiving completely at once we are issuing 10,000 equity shares and we are receiving 50,000 rupees of cash so 10,000 into 5 uh, what is the narration we can give for this is being equity share capital issue so there ends with the adjustment number one. And the second adjustment is land and building should be valued at 2,20,000. See, the land and building, <coughs> we have 1,60,000. And it is increased from 1,60 to 2,20,000. There is an appreciation in the value of the land and building. There is an appreciation. If there is an appreciation in the land and building, say first we take land and building account debit to capital reduction account see 2 lakh 20 world value was 1 lakh 60 and totally uh, 60,000 is increased how much it is? 60,000 there is an appreciation so you can write being land and building appreciated. This is a narration you can pass. In the same question, the second adjustment, goodwill to be written off. This anyhow we will do it at the end because <coughs> goodwill is an intangible asset. As I explained to you in the previous video, when there is a loss, profit and loss account in the asset side, there is a loss of 1,42,000 and there is no question of existence of goodwill. There is no question of that there will be a goodwill. Company have goodwill only when company has got a good profit, good reputation. But here the reputation of the company is not good, financially unsound. So thereby goodwill no chance of appearing in the balance sheet. So simply they have shown in order to tie the balance sheet that anyhow we will do it later. In the same adjustment, plant and machinery to be up, depreciated by 10%. Say plant and machinery is reducing. Say when the plant and machinery is reducing, it is a loss to the company. See here the land and building is appreciated. There is a benefit. That benefit is credited to the capital reduction account. But when there is a depreciation in the plant and machinery or any asset, we have to debit. What? What you will debit? You will debit in the capital reduction account. That also we will do it later. So, okay. Next, trade creditors have agreed to forego a liability up to 25% on condition 25% of net liability to be paid immediately. See, trade creditors, we have 
totally uh, this i am showing you trade trade as there is a total 48000 totally 48000 in this 48000 25% is a sacrifice okay sacrifice and remaining 25% is paid in cash and 25 25 is 50% that means 50% is 24000 and remaining 24000 Trade creditors will be continuing in our company. That means total forty-eight thousand we have to pay for trade creditors. In that fifty percent, twenty-five percent, they are forcing. Means what? They are surrendering. They are sacrificing. They are giving up. So first, up, we pass the entry for sacrificing portion. Say trade creditors account a bit. Say forty-eight thousand into. Twenty-five percent is twelve thousand. Okay, to benefit we are receiving. So therefore, we are writing in the credit side as capital reduction account. Capital reduction account. Now, this is uh, what is the narration we can pass is being trade creditors for gold or. Contributed twenty five percent of their net liability towards what? Towards capital reconstruction account, and remaining twenty five percent. See forty eight thousand twenty five percent is twelve thousand twenty five percent is twelve thousand, and remaining twenty five percent they have been paid in cash. So they buy. See trade creditors account debit. Account debit. To cash account, so twelve thousand and twelve thousand. Not narration. What narration we can pass? Pay trade rate or some pay. So there ends. See twenty five percent pay. Uh, they are give up and twenty five percent paying in cash and remaining fifty percent will be continuing the business. Okay. There ends the third adjustment. Fourth adjustment. Investments are taken over by bank in full settlement of war drop. See, bank war drop we have sixteen thousand eight hundred. Investments we have twenty four thousand. See, what happened here is bank is taking over all the liabilities for sixteen thousand eight hundred, and investment is twenty four thousand. That means investment value is more. Investment value is more. So thereby. What we can pass the entry for this is <clears throat> see when this bank over bank people are taking over the investment worth of twenty four thousand. See we have to pay bank over of sixteen thousand eight hundred, where the investment value is twenty four thousand. And we are getting a loss of seven thousand two hundred rupees. That loss I am debiting to, I am debiting to this general entry loss on investment twenty seven thousand two hundred rupees. Because we have to pay to bank for draft as sixteen thousand eight hundred, but investment is worth of twenty four thousand. Now, when the bank for draft is taking over investment of twenty four thousand, that means. The bank overdraft is not worth of twenty four thousand, which is equals to sixteen thousand eight hundred. Thereby, with that investment, we are getting seven thousand two hundred rupees of loss. Okay, I hope uh, you understood this. Next up, uh, let us go to the last general entry. I mean uh, uh, adjustment. Preferred shareholders have agreed to give up right on dividends arrears. Preferred shareholders are agreed to give up the right on dividend arrears. Converted nine percent preferred shares into eleven percent preferred shares of under each. That means here, if you look at the note dividend on preferred shares or in arrears for two years, sir, any liability that should be there either in the liability, either in the liability side. See, if they are giving up the liability, see any dividend preference dividend, any preference dividend. Our outstanding debenture interest. 
is considered as a unsecured creditors. What is that? Unsecured creditors. Now, if you see, read, there is a 2 lakh rupees of preferential capital. We are paying 9% dividend every year. See, on 2 lakhs, on 2 lakhs, if you calculate 9%, you get 18,000 rupees. How much? 18,000. For one year, preference share dividend. This is preference share dividend is 18,000 for one year. For two years, it becomes 36,000. That means in unsecured creditors, if you look at unsecured creditors, there is 80,000 rupees of unsecured creditors. In that unsecured creditors, 80,000, 36,000 is the arrears of preference dividend which is included. Now, at this point of time, at this point of internal reconstruction, preference shareholders, they are sacrificing, they are contributing their liability or their amount of 36,000 as arrears of dividend, they are sacrificing. They are foregoing, they are giving up 36,000 rupees of dividend. Please don't pay us, no problem. Company is in the problem. So, use whatever the amount of preference dividend is there, you don't pay for me. But, instead of 9% in future, you have to pay 11% dividend in future. So that they will, uh, they can get back this 36,000 for a period of time. So now, what is the MC we need to pass is, uh, preference share dividend. This I will call it as a arrears debit. This also called as a sundry credit cards. You can take it as anyhow, no problem. Okay. Two capital reduction account. Capital reduction account as thirty six thousand and thirty six thousand. Guys, very simple to understand. I'll explain you this point again. See. The company is in the financial problem because the company has got a huge loss. What the preference shareholders are saying is you are paying us 9% dividend every year on 2 lakhs, 30, 18,000 rupees you have to pay every year dividend for preference shareholders. But the company is unable to pay for 2 years. Thereby, the company is keeping 36,000 rupees of dividend as arrears. The dividend arrears is included in the sundry creditors in the problem, in the balance sheet. In 80,000, 36,000 rupees of arrears of preference dividend is included. Now what the preference shareholders is saying is, you please uh, don't pay preference dividend. Company, your company is in problem. We cannot sacrifice, we cannot contribute, we cannot reduce our capital. But we can give up our dividend arrears, you can use this money. So thereby, we are using this preference share dividend, arrears of preference share dividend to the capital reduction account or capital reconstruction account. I hope uh, you understood it now. Okay. Now, with this journal entries, okay, we have come coming to uh, uh, last journal entry. This is the seventh journal entry. Now let's see what is the fourth journal entry. I mean to say eighth journal entry. If you take the eighth journal entry, first uh, before passing this eighth journal entry, first uh, we should look at how much amount we have in capital production account. How to find out, sir? See, first in the first journal entry, capital production account is in the credit side one, and in the third entry, capital reduction account we have in the credit. And in the fourth entry, we have capital reduction account in credit. And uh, in the seventh entry, we have capital reduction account in the seventh. I mean to say that in the credit. So before this, eighth, we will pass reconstruction expenses account debit. Reconstruction expenses account debit to cash account. See, the cost of reconstruction 
is given in the question uh, adjustment number B. The cost of reconstruction is 5000 rupees. The cost of reconstruction is 5000. What is the entry you can pass? You can simply pass reconstruction expenses account debit to cash account. So this is the 8th entry. Now we are coming to the 9th entry at the last entry. Now whatever the credit balances we have as a capital reduction account 1, 2, 3 and 4. If you add all these numbers, see 1 lakh 50 plus 60, 2 lakh 10,000, 2 lakh 10,000 plus 12,000, 210, 220, 222, 228, 2 lakh 28 plus 30 is 3 lakh 58,000. Now, capital reduction account debit. 3,58,000 Okay To What are the items we need to Credit to the capital reduction account What are the items we need to Credit to the capital reduction account is, First is Clearly mentioned Okay Goodwill Land and building should be That we have taken here Okay Goodwill to be written off Okay Now let's say Goodwill to goodwill account totally there is a goodwill 20,000 rupees and immediately take profit and loss account 1,42,000 and then plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10%. See, plant and machinery account is uh, plant and machinery value is 1,20,000 on 1,20,000, 12% is 12,000. Okay, and uh, uh, what else is we have is uh, uh, investments loss loss on investment loss on investment loss on investment is seven thousand two hundred rupees, and uh, what else we have? What's it? Reconstruction expenses. Reconstruction expenses is 5,000 rupees. Now, if you check the totals, apart from this, do we have anything that we need to pass in the given the then entry? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's all. Now, we have eliminated goodwill, we have eliminated profit and loss account completely, and we have reduced plant and machinery to the extent of uh, uh, 12,000 rupees, 10 percent depreciated and uh, that's about it. Okay, now if you check the debit side totals, you get how much you get is 12, 14, 14, 16, 16 plus 2, 6, 8, 1. See, we have totally 3,58,000 rupees. How much we have? We have 3,58,000 and we utilize 186,000 rupees for reducing the fictitious assets and uh, uh, intangible assets. Uh, this is 7 and 171,000. This we can transfer to capital reserve account as 171,800. See, guys, we have totally in the capital reduction account, we have 150 plus 60, 210. 210, 222, 222 plus uh, 6 is 228, 228 plus 3 is 228, 228 plus 30 is 258. So here, instead of 358, place 258. So that now, if it is 258, 71,800 rupees is the we need to transfer to capital reserve account. Capital reserve. Capital reserve. Okay. This is the last entry we need to pass. See, after this, what is the next step for us to prepare or to show the balance sheet? What balance sheet we have to show? He is giving drop the reconstructed balance sheet. 
Now, <coughs> when we want to pass, uh, when uh, prepare reconstructed balance sheet, I am preparing vertical form of it, uh, vertical form. I am showing it in a separate, separate continuation. Okay. Uh, first, equity and liability. Equity and liability. First one is share capital. Share capital is 30,000 equity shares of 5 years, fully paid. So it becomes 1 lakh 50. Because earlier we had 10 rupees per share, now it is becoming 5 each. Next is 20,000. Instead of 9%, it is becoming 11% because it is given in the adjustment as 100 rupees each. This will be 2 lakh rupees. So, second one is reserves and surplus. We don't have any reserves. Okay, we have capital reserve in the ninth adjustment. If you look at this capital reserve, 71,800 and keeping it here. And third one is long term loans. We don't have any long term loans. Fourth one, four. Totally, this is 40,000 equity shares and 2 lakhs. Okay, guys, because why I am taking this 40,000 is the old is 30,000 and the new shares which we have issued to the public for uh, working capital purposes is 10,000 and totally how many shares are there? 40,000 shares into 5 rupees we have written. Okay, well, now current liabilities. Current liabilities we have trade rates. See, trade rates we had 80,000 in that 36,000 rupees is the preference share, arrears of preference share dividend which that it was included. Now I am taking it here 44,000 and bank order up we have paid off so don't take it back. Okay. Now goodwill is no more. Now let's go to the asset side of the balance sheet. Okay. I am preparing it in the uh, vertical form only. What you need to do is uh, okay. Uh, right below of this, okay. Land and building is appreciated and its value is 2 lakh 20 thousand. Okay, and plant and machinery it was 1 lakh 20, but it is depreciated by <coughs> 12,000, so it comes to 1 lakh 8,000. Investments is no more, no more investment because investment have been taken out by the bank order right? and stock in trade. Uh, this is a uh, first one is fixed assets and there is no investment. Next is current assets. So current assets we have uh, stock in trade. Uh, stock in trade is fifty four thousand. There is no change in this. And cash, see cash we had a old balance of 6800 and we have issued the shares. So through by equity share capital we got 10,000 rupees. Totally we had 16,800. In this 16,800, let's say cash we are receiving, sorry, 50,000 we have received. There are 56,800. In that, first what is uh, given in the question is <coughs> uh, investments are taken out by that and uh, liability creditors what creditors it is trade creditors are, have been paid 12,000 rupees see that is what uh, I will read out this question adjustment trade creditors have agreed to forego a liability up to 25% on condition 25% net liability to be paid immediately that means out of trade creditors, out of trade creditors, what is the trade creditors amount is 48,000. 
In this, 25% they have contributed towards reconstruction and remaining 25% we have to pay in cash. So, that 25% is coming to 12,000. Now, if you check the total, 4 and 4, 44,800 rupees cash, closing balance of cash we have the hand. So, this is uh, the question and now we will check with the totals, okay, whether the reconstructed balance sheet is tied with the, our solution or not. 16, 1 carries, 5, 10, 12, 1 carries and 4. This comes to 4 lakh 26, 800 and uh, this is 800. Let me check it once again. 10, 1 carries. 3, 5, 1. 1 plus uh, 5 is. 1 plus 5 is 22. 22 plus 6 is 22. Okay. So this is 72, 800. Now this is 6. And uh, So guys, <coughs> 5 lakh 39 800, 5 lakh 39 800 we are getting it. How we got it? I will show you. See we had a, a cash balance 6800 rupees in the balance sheet <coughs> and we have issued a 10,000 equity shares uh, for 5 rupees to be paid as 50,000 and we had a cash balance of 56,800. In that we paid 25% credit us in cash immediately. So thereby on 48,000, 25% is 12,000 we paid immediately. And reconstruction expenses we paid in cash are worth of 5,000 rupees. So thereby we have showed. See, whatever the amount we paid to the credit us, 12,000 rupees we are showing it here minus because cash is going up. Whatever the expenses we are paying, that also we have shown as a 5,000 and totally we got 39,800. And debt us 1 lakh 18, stock 54,000. And unsecured credit us out of 80,000, 36,000 is uh, uh, arrears of preference dividend was included, uh, directed, and remaining unsecured credit us is 44,000. So, this is how we have to pass this, uh, pass the entries, and uh, prepare a, a redrafted or reconstructed balance sheet. Hope all of you understood. Uh, please. Uh, Ask me if you have any doubts in the comments, okay? Thank you.